feel like the best way to describe it is I just feel like dog crap. And I don't know why I choose that wording, but I don't know. Dog crap seems worse than human crap. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my week by week pregnancy updates. If you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button and click the little bell if you want notifications of when I post my next video. My name is Heather and this is week eight of pregnancy number two. So first off, how big is the baby? The baby's the size of a raspberry right now, about a half an inch long. So I'm just gonna read some updates on development that I kind of just compiled from everywhere. Right now, more cartilage and bone is developing, making the limbs longer and stronger. The baby's joints are starting to form this week. There's actually beginnings of a neck, an upper lip is forming, and a tiny hint of a nose. Tiny eyelids, fingers, and toes are developing. The tiny umbilical cord is visible now, and little intestines are starting to develop. The heart has divided into right and left chambers now, and is beating at about 150 beats per minute. As of right now, the amniotic fluid is increasing by two tablespoons per week. So after the eighth week, the baby is actually now called a fetus instead of an embryo. So we're moving on up. How am I feeling physically? Physically this week, I feel like the best way to describe it is I just feel like dog crap. And I don't know why I choose that wording, but I don't know. Dog crap seems worse than human crap. <laughs> but I just feel like crap. I also feel very like bloaty. Bloaty is my word that I'm choosing to make up right now. Symptoms this week, just nauseous. Nauseous all day long. Like it comes in waves and it's like big waves. Not to the point where I want to throw up or dry heave but it's just nauseousness, it's horrible. Like I don't know what to eat, I don't know when to eat, I don't know how to eat anymore. It's just like, ugh. same feeling as the last couple videos. I feel like I have pimples galore, like everywhere on my head, like my entire hairline is just little tiny pimples. Also really crazy, weird, vivid dreams, like meteor showers coming down and hitting my house and fires it's like i feel like i could write a script to a movie and it would be interesting to watch also i feel like i occasionally have like dull cramps nothing that's alarming though just i feel like that's normal and really tired tired food versions irritable cravings this week are lemony things ginger like ginger from when you get sushi that kind of ginger i guess you could say like things to ease nausea that's what I'm craving. Saltines, like raspberry ice, ice cream, specifically this brand right here, and chocolate chip cookies, specifically this brand, which is Tate's Bake Shop Cookies. I don't know, there's just something about them. They're like thin and crispy and delicious. How my body has changed, nothing really, just really bloated, I feel like. My weight is up about a pound. How I'm feeling emotionally, I just feel excited and nervous. Just every week that goes by that the pregnancy just, you know, the symptoms stay. I feel, I feel like having symptoms of nausea and all of that, it makes me feel better because it's like, that means a healthy pregnancy. That's what I've been told. So it's reassuring. Things we did this week, this week was Thanksgiving. So I had off from work. I'm a nurse and I have to work every other holiday. So I actually have to work Christmas this year, which is a bummer. I'm trying to swap things so that I can get off, but I don't think it's gonna work. Anyway, we took my son to my parents' house first. We had a little bit of Thanksgiving there with my family. And then we went over to my in-laws' house and we had Thanksgiving there. Cole did really well. He got kind of cranky. I don't know how we thought we were gonna have our baby stay up for all of those hours and not get cranky or need a nap or something. But all is well and he took a nap and then he woke up and then we got to hang out for the rest of the evening and it was awesome. You're taking mine? <laughs> that's, a, <gasps> that's a pickle. <laughs> He just Are you dish. allowed to have pickles? <laughs> He just <laughs> we had all that time in the day before Thanksgiving to kind of just do whatever. I actually started super cleaning my house so that we would have like a nice base to decorate. It's like super clean and ready for our tree, our garland, our stockings, everything. I'm really excited to decorate for Christmas. I kind of wish that I did it before Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is late this year, but Things got in the way and we just never got to start to decorate. I think next year we're gonna decorate before Thanksgiving just because I love everything about Christmas and it's just exciting. What's comforting to me? 
I feel this strong urge to use my fetal Doppler. I have the U Kiss one and I'll talk more about that maybe next week. I think I'll probably end up using it by next week. It's uh, at home fetal Doppler. I know there's a lot of controversy on using them, but I haven't used it yet. And the baby's very small. It's very hard to find the at home heart rate and all by yourself. So I don't suggest going to get one or running to the store, let your doctors kind of do that for you. But I do have one and I'll probably end up using it next week. But using that for me is very comforting because then I can find the heartbeat and kind of take a deep breath and be like, oh. but if you don't find the heartbeat, then it could do the opposite. So leave it to the professionals. How my husband has been this week, he's been super sweet, just helping me deal with this nausea. I feel like he actually really feels bad for me. And I don't know, it's kind of nice like to be babied. Other things that are really comforting to me are taking warm showers for a long period of time. My son Cole has been actually taking showers with me and that's awesome because he never really liked the water falling on his head and I got, I got him used to it because I'm like, I've been wanting to take a shower whenever I want to and he always is, it's just not the right time, like he wants to be with me still so I'm like, whatever, just come with me in the shower and I have his toys set up on the side and he plays with his toys and I let the water just run on my head and it feels really good. Also, like club sodas or sparkling sodas, they make me feel really nice inside. I think that having them on hand is a really good idea until this nausea goes away. So that's it for week eight of my second pregnancy. Make sure to like this video and click the subscribe button and now we're gonna take a look at how my bump is progressing. So this is my bump for week eight, day one of week nine. There's not much there, just some bloating. But the baby's definitely there. Okay, you wanna be thin? Here. Give him some water. Go ahead. <laughs> Pour it in. Careful. Alright, a little more. A little more. He's tilting. <laughs> Aw. Good job. All fill. Let's give him some food. Ready? Go ahead, scoop him some food. No, you gotta scoop it with the thing. Ready? Dump it. All right, careful. Here, hold it this way. Dump it in. Yay! Excuse me, where are you going? Hey. Ew, get up. Yucky. Making pancakes. Oopsie. He's smiling so big. Okay, mix it. Ooh, there's the egg. How about that? Ugh, gross. <laughs>